with another episode of Pat Kai Bus. Today we are here at Bandra Auditorium to mark our attendance at the Science Exhibition 2022 of Pat Kai Tuition College Autonomous. The exhibition undertaking integrating science and skills will also witness a MOU signing ceremony of the College with National Institute of Technology and IT Chimikiduma. Dr. Temu Chong Tuitung, Professor NIT, is here as the chief guest for today's event. So friends, let's bang through the event. Welcome our chief guest, all the invitees, guests, the faculties, the students, as a whole, to this much awaited Science Exhibition 2022. That you all will be done. From Wolfram Springer, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Dr. Matthew Heck, please stand. In our daily life, there are thousands of things that are deep of science. Science has a very deep concept. It is a vast ocean of knowledge. Science has made our life more living, and science will continue to surprise us with many theories and discoveries in the coming days. I wish the science exhibition a great success. I am the of the Science Exhibition Committee. 
2022 to Patrick Christian College of Honolulu. Would like to extend my call of thanks to our to our honorable chief guest, namely Professor Timrechon Tuichung and, and our Mr. Antar Kizo, the Registrar NIT Sumitima, for taking your precious time. Finally, I once again thank everyone for making this program successful. Thank you. Okay, can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? My name is Hansuke. Okay. I study in Moron High Secondary School and I'm from Standard Tier of Science. Okay, so what did you learn from today's exhibition? Uh, I learned a lot of things like so many interesting things here and really I'm very impressed by what they did. Uh, and also I learned that there are many things that I don't know. It's very interesting, it's very fun. What was your favorite model or experiment and why? Uh, there was a one uh, model for Alaram. Uh, it's with taking tips and all. So, okay, I, I like this because it's very useful in our life. Because uh, you know, there are many things that are useful, like tips. Uh, Bulgari is like most common, right? So that that model was very helpful. Okay, alright. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, my name is Gavin Sangma. I'm from Livingston Foundation International from Grade Twelve Science. Okay, so what did you learn from today's exhibition? Uh, I went around a few departments and I've seen a lot of things. I've learned a lot of uh, new innovative ideas that I think would be very nice to implement in our social lives. So what is your favorite model so far? Uh, Saturn V. Mine is the James Webb Space Telescope. I've learned a lot of things and I've visited to many departments. And from Saturn V, it's really cool and uh, it's not a working model, but then I've uh, got to learn a lot of things. Uh, James Webb is a recently space, uh, telescope that is sent to the space and then like I really like James Webb telescope and I've been searching in YouTube and all to learn more about it but then since after seeing the model and then I was like pretty excited to see it and like it's still a model but it's still exciting to know about it and then like it uh, show us the picture of what it captured and how the how the like, how the telescope works and it really amazed me okay thank you both for your time What were the various parameters on which the exhibition models are judged? Thematically, when there any new idea has been added in any types of model, which, be, which will be useful, uh, which is uh, really new, uh, we are giving deep importance. Maybe the technique is old, but in a new idea that is being uh, used, okay? And uh, they are having some uh, scientific background, background behind it. Uh, we are giving deep importance on that. And what were your expectations of the exhibition today, and did it fulfill it? Really, uh, some students uh, did very nice yeah, and uh, developed some models uh, which will be really useful, and we are happy for that. I would love to uh, present you the model. Here we have um, the model of the volcano. So um, we all know what a volcano is. The reason why we made this model actually is 
to help us to understand what the interior of a volcano looks like. Because none of us have went and uh, you know look uh, how a volcano looks like from uh, you know from very near, and then much less we have gone inside the volcano to check out what it is. So that is why um, we have made this internal structure of the volcano to be explaining about the origin, how the lavas are formed, how the, how the magmas are formed, and how the you know, erupts out into the surface. So that is basically what we are explaining this now. Why we came up with this idea is so that we can make people understand about the working of the volcano and also to show teamwork among the geology students as well. I am Dr. Prem Kumar Singh from the Department of Botany. I am one of the coordinator for today's science exhibition. And actually, having a science exhibition time to time, we need very much because we as a human, we need to uh, uh, explore new new things by way of learning from each other. So having a science exhibition here, we are showing different models from different angles, how is life all about, uh, interacting with our surroundings. So uh, we have uh, learned that so many things have been changed from the past time and here uh, today's time. We find the difference, how is life easier these days, and how was the life difficult in the past. So every uh, day by day, we keep on updating uh, the knowledge by way of exploring new, new things. So having a science exhibition, the motto is to innovate, uh, to create the idea, new things that we can uh, explore, new, new things which are yet to be explored. Well, that was one enlightening session we had at today's event. The exhibition paved way for many young minds to train themselves in integrating one skill with science. Hope you all had an engaging experience too. This is Kiko Hinata Sabi reporting with videographer Mokutang Stay tuned for more upcoming events.